this is a quick video on how to um, antique because as you can see these two pieces here um, this is the finished one this is the one I'm gonna do um, this one right here the, the finished one you can see there's a lot of black in there it's easier if you antique the whole thing first and then paint put the glaze on because um, you know it's gonna get in all the crevices it makes the piece look better and it also because your, your black kind of shows through a little bit on the on the glazes and also because it um it will give you like that depth of the piece as you can see on the um, inside the crevices of the like the stone and stuff you can see that and sometimes you need less coats on top and you have no white spots um, that you can see through so I'm gonna apply the um, black and I'm going to show you how I'm gonna do that because this is the part of the antiquing okay so when I do use the black I'm gonna use I'm gonna water it down a little bit because I don't want it on too heavy now I'm just gonna cover the whole piece you can do this nice and quick um, only water it down a little bit not too too much you want to cover every white spot because you want to make sure it goes in the crevices once you get this once you do this it's going to make uh, your piece so much easier to paint rather if you don't antique it the difference is then you got to get every little spot with your colors which makes it a little bit more difficult especially especially for younger kids doing this if they do this first and then wipe it off you don't have to worry about any blank white spots when I'm done I check it upside down I usually twist it upside down to see if I missed any um, spots and I'll need my glasses on for that okay so I'm gonna check it uh, make sure there's no white spots looks pretty good I think I got all the crevices okay now you're gonna get a bucket of water a sponge sponge in a bucket of water and now you're just gonna keep rinsing the sponge and wiping it off and kind of wipe it off the way if the grains go in this way wipe this way because if you wipe this way you're just gonna take it out of the grains so you don't have to wipe it off really well you can leave a little black there you see how I'm wiping it this this way so that I have a little bit left and keep wringing out your sponge you don't want it really you don't want it um, so that it's so wet that it's just pouring off and you know you're not you're getting it all out of the crevices the whole idea is to leave it in the crevices so when I'm doing this as you can see you'll see the rocks in a second and how kind of cool they look by antiquing it first do you see how that the rocks look they're very neat with the antique look Sometimes you have to get a little more out of where the eyes are, um, just so they're not, you know, when you paint them, it'll still stay in the crevices because they're so deep. So if it's really deep, you want to get a little bit out of the eyes so you can see them. Now, when I'm done, I'm going to show you this so you can see about how much antiquing you should leave on there. painted one you're seeing sit, sitting here is done exactly how I'm doing this one so um, that's it I mean you could see that it took what about five minutes to do this and that's about it okay so it should look like this um, trying to see if I get the lighting a little better okay so it should look like this so 
Do you see how it's all, you know, you can see the crevices. So now it almost looks good like that. You just add a little color to it. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna add my colors to it, okay? So I got a little bit of clean water now and uh, I'm gonna just use a smaller type round brush. I've got a couple of smaller type round brushes here. And um, so I'm gonna be able to, um, now I'm gonna paint this back side is yellow. So if I put a couple of coats on here, you're gonna see that one coat isn't gonna cover the black. You wanna cover the black somewhat, but you don't wanna cover it completely because you want some of that, see that black showing, that black showing through, you wanna see that, so. And you could do two coats, two coats is plenty. And you'll still see that those black, little black crevices showing up in there. Even if you paint over them, you'll see them shine through. So when your first coat is dry, you can go give it a second coat. I wouldn't do more than two because you want the black to show through a little bit. So this is why we antique. This is more of a showing you how to antique type video, not really to show you how to paint the whole piece. But the five colors, I used only five colors on this piece. The five colors I used was the Black Lab, Lime Ricky, Jumpin' Jelly, Smiley Face, and Tin Man. Those were the only colors I used on this whole piece because this is yellow, the uh, this down here is yellow, the center of the of this dinosaur, or dragon I should say, it's a dragon, not a dinosaur. <laughs> I'm not good on these, uh, My di I, I'm not up on the dinosaur um, dragon type things. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna rinse my brush. I'm gonna go to the next color, and then I'm gonna do the, the Lime Ricky. So that's all done on the inside, right over to the outside. See now how you got that black antiquing in there? You won't have to outline this. You won't have to do anything with it. You're just gonna get a nice look. You're just gonna get a really nice look with that. So you're gonna do the whole inside with the green, um, you're gonna do his whole face with the green. You know, just kind of go around the eye a little bit. You don't have to be real picky because you're just gonna do a black, kind of a black dot in the eye. You don't have to do too much. So this whole dinosaur is done with two coats of this Lime Ricky all underneath. Like I said, it's only five colors. It's a pretty simple project. And even if you make mistakes and you don't paint that well, it's gonna come out nice because you antiqued it first. That's what makes the difference. Now you can see on this, the gray, I only did like one coat with the gray over the rocks like this because I just, I kind of wanted, really wanted a lot of that black to show through. So I just did one coat on the, on the gray. Um, and the green, like I said, comes all the way down to, the green comes all the way down, right down the feet, all around. So the whole thing, the whole dragon is actually green, Lime Ricky green with um, the yellow uh, smiley face. Smiley face is on the outside. Um, this band going down across here is purple, jumping jelly. Um, you know, a couple of coats of that because you want it nice and dark. Um, that's it. I did the eye. Um, I have to say, and I just put the little black on the little toenails. Um, I did a little bit of a black trim on this one to divide the two colors. Um, but the black that you see in all the crevices is just from the antiquing. Um, let's see if I did anything else with this. I did, I have to say, I did add a little bit of, there is one other color. It's this Green Acres color. Um, the green acres, I did shadow a little bit of green acres, green acres inside the, the wings. But that's about it, and that's how it looks when it's fired. That's it, a simple project.
and simple to antique.